He's connected to Clashendra Hall's case. Um, you can go back and I'll link the video. But I'm going to see if he has any connection to her disappearance. is doing some flirting. This is playing around with somebody, actually flirting with somebody or toying with the idea of doing something. That's what that means. This is an actual physical fight or somebody is battling some things internally or mentally. And this is somebody that he lives with. So somebody that he lives with was either flirting with someone and had a fight or was thinking about something, playing around with somebody and had a fight or this person is battling something, but they also was doing some flirting. Okay. a fight or somebody was battling something. Somebody in the family. Tree. A legacy. Okay, so somebody was fighting for someone in the family and their legacy. Somebody was battling something concerning their legacy and someone in their family tree. So, his involvement is somebody in his family and his legacy. That is what he's fighting for. Okay? And the legacy is something that can be passed down for generation to generation. Something that you're known for, your children, or your namesake. Okay? This is somebody in your family. So these are the two things that he's fighting for. Also, material things. Okay? So there was a fight or some battles concerning some material things. Somebody is scared of the outcome of something. Got material things and flirting. So somebody was flirting with someone or toying with the idea of something or playing around. But then somebody is scared of the outcome of this concerning this. So the outcome of this flirting and material things. He went to go get someone or something. Someone is broken, so that means something on the body is broken. Somebody is broken emotionally, um, and whatever is broken cannot be repaired. Somebody that lives with him. So, somebody that lives with him went to go get someone or something, and something was broken. So this person could have been broken or something could have been broken on the body of someone they went to go get, or they got something to go cause something on this person's body to be broken. This is somebody that lives with Larry Amos. And I think in Kushindra's, um read, I had a legacy. And I think I had this. And I think I also had that. I can't remember. And I 
think these were on the same side. Like I said, you have to go look at the other spread, see the positions of the cards, and then you connect them with the position of these cards to see the connection. Just read it with somebody who's trying to protect somebody in their family, their legacy. And now this person is fighting for their legacy and somebody in their family. Now you got somebody cleaning things up, trying to hide some evidence. This is somebody's intensity surrounding something. So their their ambition. This is somebody is a trickster. This is a liar and a manipulator. So you got somebody lying and manipulating, cleaning some things and hiding some evidence, and then they they have strong will behind this. Like they're determined. Like they put all their energy into doing this, cleaning and hiding evidence and lying and manipulating. But this could be an actual fire, so somebody could have burned something to hide some evidence. So now you have somebody being picked out, chosen. Somebody's trying to exert their power over someone, gaining their power, strength, and emotional strength, confidence. And then this is the fight. So somebody is trying to exert their power, gain their power over someone in particular. And they're putting a lot of energy into doing it. Then you have here, Somebody is being submissive. So this could be somebody burning something. This could be the energy behind someone's um, actions. But then somebody is going along with it. So somebody is um, putting a lot of energy into something, but they're going along with the plan that somebody else had. So they're going along with something and being submissive. This is somebody from your past. This is a memory. So this is somebody from your past, some thoughts, you thinking about something. Okay, so somebody is trying to clean up something or hide some evidence. They're going along with the plan here. And this is them thinking about it. They were, it's like it's on their mind. So they're, they're thinking about some things prior. Something happened prior, and they're going along with something because they're trying to clean something. So something must have happened before. So this is why they're going along with whatever this is to clean this up. Because something happened before. So now you have the police. Somebody needs help, or this is an urgent situation. Somebody's lying to the police. This trickster is lying to the police. This trickster is not telling the whole truth to the police. Somebody... Is, um, need some help. They're lying about it. This trickster is lying. So there's some lies and manipulation going on to the police or about somebody needing some help. So this was an intense fight or an intense internal battle. So somebody, like I said, there's some intensity around this fight or this battle. Or this could have been a fight and somebody burned up something to hide something. Somebody is trying to gain power or exert their power. Somebody in the family. So this is somebody trying to exert their power or trying to be strong for their family. 
exert their power over their family. Um, somebody in the family is exerting their power over someone in particular. Okay, so this in particular, their legacy is something in particular that they chose. They picked out this legacy. So this is somebody here who is fighting very hard and putting all their energy into being strong, exerting their power for uh, someone in the family and a legacy. And like this is what they why they chose to do this because of a legacy. Somebody is going along with something. So this could be somebody being submissive for material things, like they're going along with something because of some material things or because they're going to get some material things and material things could be a car, money, or whatever. So somebody is going along with something for some material things. Somebody is scared of the outcome, so they're thinking about this. Something happened before, so now they're scared of the outcome because something happened prior. I don't know what it was, but something happened before in the past. Somebody is trying to clean up something, so they're toying with the idea of something, playing around with somebody, flirting. So they're trying to hide this. They're hiding something here. They're trying to clean it up. They want to go get someone or something. Somebody needed help, so they want to go get someone. Or something. They didn't go get the police because her parents called. So they're trying to go get something or someone because someone needs help. So they're going to get something to maybe hide something because this person needs help. This is a emergency. Somebody's lying about something being broken. So this could be something damaged in the body. Somebody's emotionally broken, like traumatized. Something that's broken cannot be fixed. Somebody is lying about that, not telling the whole truth. So something happened here, and somebody's lying about it. So they got in a fight. Perhaps something was broken on the body. Somebody lying. So somebody, this liar and this trickster and manipulator, is somebody that lives with um, Larry Amos or he's lying and manipulating for somebody that lives with him. So who lived with him? It's somebody that he lived with. Or that lived in his house prior or is someone he used to or Someone he lives with that's cohabit. Somebody that used to live with you, you used to live with them, or that person still lives with you. You shared a, a space, is basically what that means. Okay. So now you have some chaos. This is some chaos going on. Somebody's trying to do what's right. Somebody's helping you. Getting help for something. I mean, with something. So chaos, you're getting help. And somebody's trying to do what's right. This is an innocent person, innocent bystander. There's some chaos surrounding this. Somebody is trying to do what's right. This is somebody that they have feelings for. And then somebody is helping you. And this is somebody who is um, impulsive and bullheaded. So somebody's trying to help somebody that did something impulsively or a hard headed person. This is the 
secret admirer. Now, in Kushinder's spread, I got somebody that liked her. Okay, so we have an innocent person. They have a secret admirer, but then there's some chaos surrounding that. Then you have here, somebody's trying to do what's right. Somebody has feelings or love for someone. Someone has passed on or crossed over. Now, somebody could be wanting to do the right thing for someone that they had feelings for, but this person has now crossed over. So this could be Koshindra's family, but it could also be for him because this could also mean somebody trying to change their life. So somebody's trying to do the right thing for somebody that they care for, and this person is trying to change their life around. Here, somebody is getting help. This person has an illness or disease or a sickness. This person is impulsive. They have an illness and disease, and somebody is helping this person. And I think in question to spread, somebody was using drugs because they had a sickness of drugs. I think that's what was in her spread. So somebody is trying to help that person. Somebody is trying to do the right thing for someone they have, they care about. And then there's some chaos surrounding somebody who likes somebody, admired somebody. The innocent person is involved in some chaos. So that is Dr. Larry Amos' spread concerning Kleshendra, and I'll connect those two in the description box if you want to go look at the other one. Thank you for watching.